Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, you found a yarn channel. Yarn and knitting and crocheting and having fun with yarn, knitting, crocheting, pattern collecting, because uh, that's another hobby. All of that wonderful stuff. And I talk about my antics and things along that line. And the reason I say it that way is I have things that I'm supposed to get done. Now, nobody's told me I'm supposed to get those done, but for some reason, I think I need to set myself with goals and whatever, and, and I should have things done, and I should only work on the things that I'm supposed to work on. And yeah, if you've been around for a while, if you're not one of the new people, you know that I don't always stick to those things, because mm, why would I? Crafting is my fun time. As I as I comically refer to it and everything and joking is monogamy is for marriage, not for your crafting. No, 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 no. I have lots of things going at once. I don't stick to just one. Like I said, monogamy is for marriage. Uh, and, and I'm always working on lots of different things. And then the latest thing can can derail me, you know, uh, you know, oh, as an example, as I'm looking right down here and everything, hello, have we seen these? Oh, yes, we have. This is the emotional support chicken pattern. Not what this video is about, but by golly, did I get derailed? Yes. Yes, I did. I think it's absolutely adorable. This one's for my daughter. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna make more. It's gonna happen. One of the other things that I really like to do is if I find a pattern that I enjoy, I'll make it multiple times just because. And, and one of the reasons I've described it before is once you make it the first time, oh, I'm not saying I haven't memorized. Oh, let's not get crazy. But once you make it the first time, any parts that might get you confused, might cause a little pause, a little hiccup or something like that, you've already worked through the first time. So the second time following the instructions, theoretically is a lot easier and faster and a little bit smooth sailing. Um, so yeah, I'll be making more of the chickens because I just finished that one and the patterns in my head, again, not memorized, but I understand what they're getting at. I understand the short rows and everything else and where everything goes. When I first looked at it, it was weird looking. I mean, it's a really well-written pattern. Not my pattern, obviously, but it's a really, really well-written pattern and they are everywhere. Everyone's making them. I mean, you've got it in fingering weight. Hello. I mean, this is worsted weight right here. And this is pretty big. And I and I have, yeah, you can see how it's landing like this. I put a um, a sock and I sewed the end of it together kind of and just stuffed it with pinto beans because that's what I had. I didn't have my little, I don't know where my polyfill pellets are. I'm not sure. I used what I had. There you go. As long as it doesn't go through the washing machine, we're good. <laughs> you know, but... Anyway, so I get sidetracked. I have lots of things that I'm working on that are in a partial area kind of a thing. For that matter, the emotional support chicken, that thing was kind of a jump the queue and I made that because it was hitting everywhere. So another thing that just popped, if you watch Crystal from Bag o Day, she has been doing videos for a decade now. She is close to 1 million subscribers. So if you are not subscribed to her, please, I will link her down below. Most everyone knows who she is. Subscribe to her. She is like 6,000 away from getting her 1 million subscribers. Like I said, the lady's fantastic. So she just popped up a new tutorial. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? That is the Bavarian stitch in a rectangle. Yep. How to crochet Bavarian stitch rectangle blanket crochet tutorial. So one of the things I'm working on because I can are blankets to donate to Camp Boggy Creek. They'll be accepting the group that's actually collecting said things. They'll be accepting them around the August time period. I got plenty of time, but you know, I figured I'd start working on them. And the size constraints on those are 35 to 40 inches wide. So somewhere in there and 40 to 50 inches long. Okay. So if you want to make a square, the 40 inch square is your sweet spot. If, if you make them a little bit bigger or what have you, 
they can still use them, but the kids won't be able to take them home with them. So if you make a blanket and you want the child that's been able to love on it while they were at camp to be able to take it home, they have to be within that size constraint. So I've commented on the squares, um, you know, getting the 40 by 40, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get exactly 40 by 40, what have you. So I, I've been really wanting to hit that rectangle because I've got more of a chance of going somewhere between 35 and 40. I got a five inch gap here and 40 to 50, right? I can do that. So this pattern, this tutorial gone as a rectangle style, that sounded like a lot of fun to me. So what do you think of this yarn right here? This is the, um, I gotta grab the other one because I got this on clearance. And, and you know, when Michael's had it on clearance, it's one of the skinny cakes. So I don't know if they have this color back again because I do know the skinny cakes are back. So I don't know what colors they do or they don't have. This is, I don't know, rainbow, okay. I figured it was rainbow, but I wasn't sure it was actually written. But it's a skinny cake rainbow. And I know I really, really wanted these when they came out, but for some reason I was too cheap to actually pay the price for them and the coupons and what have you. It's clearance for five dollars as you can see didn't have this little ball band this one was that way and the other one that i had was also that way the specs are on this one look at that color isn't that pretty the specs for the caron skinny cakes since again that one didn't have any uh there's three patterns on it that's great it's a number three lightweight number three it's 100 percent acrylic it's 8.8 .8 ounces 250 grams 795 yards there's a lot of yardage in here they recommend a US 6 for knitting needle or a size G US 6. I don't know why it says US 6, it's four millimeter, um, for a crochet hook. That is the recommendation for the skinny cake. Well, I have like three of these, right? And I, I personally love this color. It's so retro to me. I don't know what color it is, uh, plum pudding. I think that is gorgeous. But for the kids, this, but I only have two of them. But I mean, for the kids, that's it. So, you know, the typical, what did I do with it? Did I just lose things? Oh, here it is. For the kids, we want to make fun stuff. So I watched Crystal's tutorial and look at that. What do you think? Is that going to be fun? Now, question is, obviously this is its own, you know, stripes and everything. And as the rounds get bigger, it's not even going around for each round as it is per color stripe, right? There's a lot of colors in here. Um, so it's going to stack on each other and doing other things. It's not like, oh, look, each square section will be one color. If I wanted to do that, I would have gone with my big twist value yarn that I've gotten from Joanne because I've got multiple colors and then I would just cut the yarn and continue on that way but I bought this to use it and and I loved it and I just have the two and it's been staring at me why not see how far just shy of 1800 yards will get me it should be enough I should be able to hit in that sweet spot what do you think don't really know. Uh, one thing I did change is my needle size because I can. So I am using a J hook. I believe I'm using the J hook, which is what Crystal's using for the worsted weight red heart ombre yarn in her tutorial. And uh, I wanted this to be a little bit looser or drapier. Drapey is the drapier is the word. You know, bendy, not not just really stiff. And I just wanted to have a little bit more flexibility. So I did use the bigger hook. It's a pretty solid stitch anyway, so it's not like it's a it's a, a big deal as far as that goes. So I did go up a hook size. I do like the way that that is. What do you think though, as my rounds get bigger, it's going to be, okay, well, it's just gonna stay down there. Like right here, you can see obviously that those two colors changed there. I had the green changing here, you know, and the yellow and the orange and stuff. And obviously as I continue, it's going to be even more exasperated. So I don't know if that's gonna bother me. What do you think? Should I care? Should, you know, just go with it? Just, I mean, it's been sitting on my shelf for at least a year now, kind of mocking me. It's like, woman, you said you wanted this. You wanted these colors. What's the deal? I know, I know. We. When, we, when given our own choices, um, a lot of us collect. I don't hoard. 
I just, I collect the finer things and things that I think are pretty. I obviously thought this was really pretty um, and I want to use it. You know, it, and these are some pretty decent sized cakes. So they take up a little bit of space. You know, you see that, right? It takes up a little bit of space right there. And uh, it, I think it'll, it'll just make me feel good. Finishing it, having the folded object ready to be boxed and sent off. Like I said, not yet, but ready to be boxed and sent off and gifted and just another fun thing. And Besides, I like to have both knitting and crocheting going at the same time. And I think I've got a lot of um, knitting going on. Well, for that matter, I've done a lot of crocheting recently too. I did a crocheted amigurumi and I did a bunch of crocheted squares, but I'm also doing knitted squares. So I like to mix it up and have a little bit of fun and play with different things. And like I said, Crystal has been around for at least a decade. She is absolutely amazing. I have been watching her for years. She is wonderful. If you are not subscribed, please take a moment. Go and subscribe. She's 6,000, 6, somewhere around there, away from her 1 million subscribers. She has over 1,000 crochet tutorials and just about anything that you could want to make. And they are all free. Uh, she does have some written out patterns on Etsy. Those, of course, are paid for, but they also link to the free tutorial. So whatever style you are, whether you want to read a pattern and follow it that way, or you want to watch somebody step by step and doing a tutorial, she has got you covered. The woman is absolutely amazing. Um, if you've been around the knitting and crocheting, well, crocheting, she crochets. Um, she does have her um, centro or not. She's got the Addy, the Addy loom and everything. And she'll do uh, swatches and stuff with that and scarves. But um, if you've been around the YouTube streets for a while, especially if you're in the crochet realm, you'll hear her name. You may have never seen her, but you'll definitely hear her name. She's wonderful. Anyway, that's what I want to talk about. She got me with this one. I've not done this stitch before. It is not a hard stitch. I think it's got a lot of impact. It's a lot of fun. I love what these colors, these primary colors, these happy, cheerful colors as it goes through. It looks like the cake has like three sets, three repeats each one. Um, I am not finished through the first color repeat of this. As you can see, I haven't gotten into the purples or anything like that yet. So um, this is going to be a lot of fun. And, and it does get into a darker red than that. So it's going to be a lot of fun to put this one together, making something bright, happy, and cheerful, and absolutely wonderful that I will be giving away. With that, everybody, I'm going to let you guys go. You have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.